today's statement comes um, in the context of some kind of improvement in the economic forecasts, um, particularly in the short run, which has given the Chancellor a bit more um, le space and kind of leeway to, to do more on the policy. Um, to implement more new policy measures um, and where he's focused that has been on um, some short-term measures to improve the cost of living um, some kind of investment um, uh, policies that seeking to boost private investment um, but mainly on trying to improve labor labor market participation in the kind of longer term yeah on that the measures around childcare and pensions yeah. They're obviously quite widespread, but do you think they will actually have a major impact on the wider economy? So the measures on childcare um, are really welcome at this time. I mean, they're addressing both kind of um, difficult living standards for parents who, um, you know, are at a period in their life where they can really use the support and have already faced a number of other kind of big shocks in the kind of cost of living crisis. Um, and so... Um, from that perspective, um, they're quite welcome. Um, from the perspective of where they fall on the income distribution, they will probably favour kind of medium and uh, middle to higher income um, parents over over those on lower incomes, um, just because the support was already um, more available for people on lower incomes. Um, the support on uh, pensions, um, unfortunately, is going to be very very targeted on just the highest income um, earners. Um, there were some estimates that you know that it could improve labour market participation by around fifteen thousand, um, is what the OBR has forecast. Um, but it's possible um, that we might not see those kind of materialising. Maybe even a fall in participation as you've got this kind of big wealth boost for for um, pensioners. You know, for, for wealthy pensioners who may now choose to leave the labour market in, entirely instead. Do you think we've seen enough today for those on the lowest incomes, especially around energy? So the um, extension of the um, energy policy, uh, price guarantee was really welcome um, and, and just a sensible policy to avoid that kind of fluctuation in prices that, that uh, was easily avoided. Um, and similarly, the action that was taken on prepayment meters um, is kind of just sensible policy to kind of get through the current crisis to make sure that um, those who are more likely to be on prepayment meters do tend to be lower income households. Um, and so equalizing the kind of costs that they're paying for energy um, will kind of help get through this period. Um, but that's not to kind of um, take away from the fact that this is going to be a really expensive period um, and the kind of improvement that we've seen both in kind of the economic outlook of the UK um, and um, through these kind of on, on kind of living standards as a result of these measures um, is not going to make this feel less painful um, uh, this yeah. year. Um, one thing which might help some of those people is a rise in pay, especially today we've seen large widespread strike actually across the public sector. Do you think the Chancellor could have done more today on that issue? Well, obviously nothing was announced today um, on, in terms of what, what's, what the settlement's going to be. So, I mean, I imagine we'll, we'll see something on that. Um, but yeah, more to, more more to come. come, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, finally, is there anything you would have liked to have seen today which wasn't done? Well, on the policy on business investment, um, we were disappointed to see that that was temporary. Um, ultimately, what that's going to do is kind of bring forward investment um, from the future. But that three year limit means that it won't have a kind of um, it's not expected to have a kind of sustained increased impact on business investment. Um, and I think actually by um, 2027, 28 um, investment is forecast to be four percent lower um, than it was in the autumn. So it's not having a kind of sustained increase in impact on, on business investment. And we really do need to see, um, given the kind of stagnation of the UK, we need to see policies that are aiming to kind of really kickstart the productivity and drive real wages um, through those kind of policies. And finally, overall, how would you rate the Chancellor's speech today? <laughs> um, I mean, very you know, it was good to see the Chancellor focused on important issues, for example, labour market participation, um, and this is really important to kind of um, generate growth, but it, it was potentially policies that were focused more on um, improving growth through getting people to kind of work more necessarily than um, through kind of productivity um, increasing measures. Great, thank you.